Antarctica, the icy continent at the southernmost tip of the Earth, seems to hold a number of secrets. And with mysteries and secrets comes myths and legends. From ancient alien civilizations and cryptids to hidden government experiments, we're delving into some of the strangest tales that have sprung from the frozen tundra of the South Pole. So join me, your host James, as I bring you the top 10 scary Antarctica urban legends we can no longer ignore. And we're starting off the list at number 10 with the Jenny. The Jenny was an English ship that left port on the Isle of Wight in 1822. Now, there isn't a whole a lot of detail as to what happened to the ship as the story has been around for years but has never been a hundred percent verified at some point during the journey though the ship became trapped in ice somewhere in the Drake Passage about a year after they set sail. The ship wasn't discovered though until 1840 by a captain at Brighton on a whaling ship called Hope. On the frozen Jenny were supposedly the bodies of the crew members, eerily well preserved because of the cold, frozen climate. And the captain's last log entry had been made on January 17th of 1823. Some stories go that Brighton's crew was then haunted by the ghosts of the Jenny, even seeing a ghostly image of the ship appear here at night floating through the ocean. And at number nine, we have the Ningen. Cryptid time. Love my monsters. The Ningen is a cryptid that originates from Japanese folklore and modern urban legends. The term Ningen translates to human being in Japanese, but when used in the context of the cryptid, it refers to a mysterious and humanoid uh, sea creature reported to inhabit the icy waters of the Antarctic. There are a couple different physical descriptions of the creature, but common features include a humanoid shape with a head, a torso, and like these long legs. Sometimes there's flippers involved. It's often large in size, around 20 to 30 meters in length. The Ningen is said to have smooth, pale, and rubbery skin, kind of like a beluga whale. Some accounts mention facial features, you know, eyes, a mouth, while others describe it being completely faceless. The Ningen started circulating online in the mid-2000s when reports and alleged eyewitness accounts started being reported on the Japanese online forum website 2Channel. These reports often claimed sightings by crew members of Japanese whaling vessels and fishermen in the Antarctic region. At number eight, we have the secret German base. So there's been this legend floating around for decades that the German forces set up the secretive military base in the frozen hell that is Antarctica, concealing themselves away from the prying eyes of the public in order to carry out advanced technological experiments and tests or search for mystical artifacts that could aid them in their evil conquest. The idea that the SS were secretly experimenting with advanced technologies and high-tech weapons or trying to find ancient powerful artifacts buried deep beneath the icy wilderness of Antarctica is pretty insane, but I mean, so was the SS. The idea isn't even that, that they actually accomplished anything, just that there's a possibility that they tried. There are also some conspiracy theorists who believe that they discovered ancient alien technology buried in the ice, leading to secret research projects that may have even continued after the end of the war. Others believe that Antarctica could have been a refuge for Mr. H, a place where his dream of creating a superhuman Aryan race could continue in isolation. Isolation. Continuing along with the whole World War II secret base legend, let's talk about the possible destruction of this said German base. After the war in 1946 and 47, the US sent this huge fleet to Antarctica. And what were they doing? Never been 100% verified, kept mostly secret from the public. So there are those that believe that uh, they'd been tasked with destroying this secret German base. Now, this would have been a pretty easy mission, right? The war was won, base was totally free of any soldiers, just fly on over there and blow it up. Could have definitely been the case, but if we're talking about uh, the fact that maybe there were Germans still there long after the war, uh, then this, you know, would have been a much tougher mission. So, I don't know, maybe nothing happened, probably nothing happened. I probably sound incredibly insane right now, but I mean, it's fun to imagine these things, right? Number six, Lake Vostok. Lake Vostok, hiding beneath Antarctica's icy surface, is a massive subglacial lake that's captured the uh, imagination of scientists 
and conspiracy theories and conspiracy theorists for years. It's been locked away for millions of years. It's one of the largest lakes of its kind on Earth. And what's so intriguing about it is, of course, the isolation. What kind of life could be down there? Some scientists speculate about the possibility of discovering new species of fish and other unknown life forms. There have also been strange radar readings that could point to anomalies beneath the ice. The wilder conspiracy theories, of course, involve an ancient civilization of some kind lost under the ice, but no one's drilled all the way through the ice to take a peek. So some say it's because of the risk of maybe contaminating whatever could be down there, seeing as it's been locked away for so long. But others think maybe there's just something they're not telling us, a government cover-up type stuff. But what do you think? As always, share your thoughts down in the comments. Next on the list, we have the Haunting of Deception Island. Deception Island kind of looks like a frozen hellscape. It used to be the site of several whaling stations that have long since been abandoned. The whaling operations were established in the early 20th century, and a Norwegian-Chilean whaling station named Hector was operational on the island until the Great Depression forced it to close. During World War II, the British established a military presence on Deception Island named Operation Tabarin. The island was a monitoring and control point to counter potential German activity in Antarctica, and after the war, the station was turned over to civilian use for scientific research. Some visitors and researchers have reported strange occurrences and ghostly sightings on the island. One of the most well-known stories is about the British research station called Base B, which operated on the island in the late 1940s. According to the legend, the research station was abandoned abruptly because of unexplained and mysterious incidents. Some versions of the story claim that the researchers started seeing paranormal stuff going on, leading them to flee the station in horror. Number four, Antarctic Godzilla. Well, that's an intriguing title, isn't it? So uh, it's February 13th, 1958. It's not actually, just imagine, a chilly evening in the Antarctic. The Japanese research vessel Soya Nihongo is cruising along the Lutzau home bay, minding its own business. It's 7 p.m. That crew's probably sipping some hot cocoa or whatever they do on research vessels when they're not actually researching. Then out of nowhere, this colossal sea mammal, or some like to call it the Antarctic Godzilla, decides to make a grand appearance. Fast forward to 1974, off the Latelton Peninsula, another Japanese fishing vessel, probably thinking they were in for a routine day of catching fish, spots a creature that some boats think might be the same beast he encountered back in 58. They call it Cabagon. The creatures were both said to have large eyes and heads with grayish skin. Number three, Organism 46b. So remember Lake Vostok? Well, this ties into that. Organism 46b is an urban legend centered around a mysterious aquatic creature, allegedly discovered by Russian scientists while drilling in Voltok Lake. The creature is said to be a gelatinous organism, almost like a giant squid with incredibly deadly venom and the ability to rapidly shapeshift and mimic other marine life. According to the legend, Organism 46b has a unique method of hunting. It can extend a set of thin, flexible filaments from its body to paralyze and then consume its prey. The legend claims that the Russian scientists experimented with Organism 46b, attempting to understand its abilities and potentially weaponize them. These experiments went haywire, resulting in the deaths of several researchers. Then the Russian government covered up the incident. All sounds totally 100% true to me. And at second place, we have aliens and UFOs. So there are all kinds of myths and stories, and just people full on believing that Antarctica is teeming with alien life, hidden alien bases buried beneath the ice, crashed UFOs, government experiments involving aliens, the list goes on and on. In 2018, an ex-Navy SEAL disclosed information to an investigative journalist about a mysterious structure he and his team encountered during a classified mission in August of 2003. According to him, the team discovered a large dark structure protruding from the ice. The structure had doors, which when pushed, revealed a long hallway illuminated by green lights, which 
didn't seem to come from any particular source. The walls inside were adorned with symbols and hieroglyphics that didn't resemble any seen on Earth. The remoteness of Antarctica with its extreme climate does make for the perfect setting for clandestine alien activities. And we're finishing off the list with another ghost story. The ghosts of Sir Robert Scott's tragic expedition. The expedition, officially known as the Terra Nova expedition, aimed to be the first to reach the South Pole. They would unfortunately never return. In 1911, Scott and his team of 25 men departed from Cape Evans, leaving behind the hut that would later become this iconic symbol of their ill-fated journey. The Cape Evans hut was the main hub before the group set off in the main stretch of their journey. The hut preserved by the extreme cold temperatures of the Antarctic has become a time capsule of the era. Scientific equipment, personal belongings, even frozen specimens like penguins the group had been studying remain in the same positions that they were right before they left. But despite its frozen state, the hut is not said to be totally devoid of activity. And I'm not talking about staff and stuff like that. Visitors and staff who have entered Scott's hut often report experiencing an eerie and unsettling feeling. Now that's to be expected, but the environment seems to carry this emotional weight, a sense of sadness and emptiness. But it's not just feelings they have. Odd things are said to happen there. Ghostly whispers, sightings of shadowy figures, and objects being found in places where they weren't left before. With all that said, I've been your host James, and I'll catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video. Mm -hmm.